Welcome back to Tag Happy VR. If you're older and you're around here, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate those views, those likes, those comments, and those subscriptions, especially those subscriptions. And until I get to 1,000, this is nothing more than a glorified hobby of mine. So if you do like my content, don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot. It really keeps that motivation going. Now, if you do subscribe or comment, comment, subscribe, just get your name out there. You will have a chance to win two copies or one copy. Uh, I've got two keys to give away of Squingle, which is a, a puzzle uh, psychedelic puzzle maze game on the Oculus App Labs, Meta App Labs. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I do have a review under my Tag Happy VR playlist. Go check it out. Anyway, let's jump into Sep's Diner. This is really more of a first impressions, and we're going to work out whether this one should be a part of your collection. This is it. This is Sep's Diner. This is the menu system that you walk into. Now, for whatever reason, the Quest Guardian is making me a foot taller in the game than what I am. And nothing to do with the game, I've played the game many a times and it doesn't have that issue, but there's something going on in this particular room which the quest is not liking. And it does happen from time to time, but it's a, a little annoying, I feel like I'm a giant! <laughs> anyway, um, this is the menu system, over to my left I've got the different restaurants that you can kind of walk over to, click on them and a, your, your little uh, van pulls up and you kind of just wake up at the, at the next spot. you got your different levels, different game modes, time relax infinite, and you kind of got your leaderboard over here. Kind of yet to work it out, really, but um, this person apparently has done $4,500 of, of sales. That's incredible. Like, l legitimately incredible. You know, I think you're looking at, like, $1 to $5 a meal. <laughs> okay, it's solo, multiplayer, total solely, infinite. Top scores, my scores. Look at me, $2,379. Um, just goes to show how many players they got kind of rolling on this at the moment, you know, top score. There, yeah, look at that. There's definitely quite a few thousand players jumping in on this. All right, let's just um, always start off on the menu system. Bam, done. Now you've got your position. You can stand, you can sit. That's what it should be like when you're standing, okay? Um, but the quest has definitely um, made this, uh, making me taller than what I am. So I'm going to go back to standing. you got room scale. Just kind of turns everything off. You physically have to walk in your environment. I'm in a tight environment. If you've got a large space, I always recommend room scale. I like that. I like it how they're giving you room scale, sitting and standing. Okay, that's great. Rotation. You can either use your uh, body, which I'm going to be doing, or you can use your your joysticks. Okay, you can control the angle. Then you kind of got your uh, locomotion or teleport. Okay, and then under each one, you can do some vignetting uh, when you're moving. Um, or if you're teleporting, you can turn up points or teleport free to where you want. Okay, it's all there. I think that's really cool how they've done that. All right, let's just kind of jump into a few here. Timed. Uh, let's go to number four. Uh, I'm at the burger joint, as you can see. Let's go play. And let's just jump straight on in. I mean, this is a kind of a first impressions. I've done a little bit. Okay, what do we got? Potato delivery, okay? Now, I need to do $20 of, of uh, orders within six minutes to effectively get my three burgers to fully complete this level. Tap on the start. Boop, boop. All right. Oh, this guy's in a rush. Hey, mate. Looks like you've been working at the movie theater. Oh, he's after some fries. He's got 49 seconds to get some fries. All right, let's get some potatoes. Oh, damn. Things are a bit tight in this room. All right, bring them over here. Grab, pull them out, pick them up, walk over to my vat, put them in, bring it down. Okay, what have we got? Oh, I need a burger patty for this guy. Ooh, I'm a bit tight. Burger patty, I need a couple of buns. Ooh. Done. How are those fries going? They're good. Yeah, mate, they're coming. Now, do not do this at home. Just pick it up with your hands, man. You're going to burn yourself. <laughs> All right, mate. Oh, it's chairs everywhere. Okay. Uh, burger, 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 it's done. I better bring that over here. I need some cheese. <laughs> Just, oh, my hands are a bit hot for holding this burger. Okay, uh, what do we got? Cheese, burger, uh, <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> Boom, pick it up, move it over here. Love you at work, mate. Hi. Oh, damn, I feel like I'm pretty tight. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to bring that back. Yeah, the VR mechanics are pretty good yeah, to be honest. You know, you want to do stuff, you want to press buttons, that everything kind of works. Uh, okay, another burger patty. 
Uh, what have we got? I'll throw that down there. Would be cool to kind of get a bit more effects happening inside this particular game. As you can see, the cheese is the same colour as the trimming board. Not a fan of that. Um, Alright, fries, fries, fries. What am I doing? Fries! I've got to focus. Oh! Oh, over here. I don't even know if I'm facing it right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing track of where I'm in this room. Oh, Alright, burger, okay. Oh! Oh, let's just grab us over here. Put that there. Put that there. Oh, no! Oh, no! I just wasted my burger patty. Let's get a couple going. Could I have my order now? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm trying, mate. I'm a trying! <laughs> Alright, what well, we got? Cheese, cheese, cheese. Come on, come on. Cook, 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 cook. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, it's tight. Oh, come on! Oh, gotta get closer. Wrong recipe! Oh, damn it! Alright, I'm, I'm stressing out. I need a bun. Bun, bun, bun. Put that down there. Burger, burger, burger. Oh, just in the nick of time. Boom. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Done. I don't know where those fries came from. <laughs> Anyway, what have we got? Oh, We've got three more minutes, but you don't, we don't need to stick around for this whole thing. You get the idea. Okay, if you need to make a drink, you can put that over here. You can push that in there. Drink comes out, serves your drink up. Okay, people keep coming. All right, and you can see I've got four heavy clients. Two grumpy ones. Oh, man. All right, anyway, let's just hit the, uh, the flat left button. Hit the menu button. Cool, let's just go back to the menu. Whew. Okay, now relaxed is kind of what we've just done, but there's no stress. I'm not really going to show you relaxed, okay? Let's jump across to uh, this guy here. As you can see, my little ride pops up, and you kind of just zoom across uh, to the next restaurant. Boom, there we are. Let's go uh, infinite, okay? Um, look at this, eh? Oh, the bats, that's a nice little touch. They actually look like they're flying around like bats do. Sometimes you look at some games and it's just like, really? I think they've done a good job on that. It's, I mean, they, it's solid. It just needs, I feel like things just need a little bit more refinement to really expel their own art style. All right, let's go into infinite. Let's go into debt. Okay, I got to pay the debt off before it's too late. Okay, and the banks are coming after me and I got to make this food. All right, loan a nightmare. Pay <laughs> ten dollars before it's too late. All right, what am I doing? Um, all right, this lady's up. This kitchen's uh, way more confusing. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Uh, Transylvania, eh? We're somewhere in Europe, by the sounds of it. All right, just the one so far. What is that? Looks, that looks like a uh, yes. All right. We got. Hello. Oh man! We got a meatball, a lemon, a meatball. Um, a lemon? Is that a lemon? Oh my god! Is that a? Oh, it's a cutting up lemon. Ugh. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> um, one of them. Um, onion. Hi. Hey, mate. Oh, wrong one. Onion, uh, chicken drumstick. Gotcha. Cool. Put you on there. Okay, that's happening there. What is that? Something melting. What is that? I don't know. It's, oh, marshmallows. They've got a couple marshmallows over here. What have we got? We've got a, a pink one. How's this guy going? Okay, pink marshmallow. A banana. Gosh. Oh, oh. Alright, okay, done. This is cooked. Let's bring you over there. Okay. Wrong wrong recipe. I got two lemons on there. Oh man. Alright, trash. That's terrible. Okay. It's banana. A nice evening. It is a nice evening and I'm definitely gonna Oh annoy my some god, customers. can you believe how long they oh, take? Oh man, I got mount to pay. I'm out. <laughs> oh man, that was hard. 
That was super hard. That's confusing as hell. <laughs> uh, let's go back to menu here. Okay, let's go into. Uh, okay, let's go over to the candy bar. Alright. Well, I gotta look at the van before I take off, apparently. Alright, let's do the client one. Uh, at the candy bar. Desert 7 to 7, I know, 7 days a week. Alright, they're waiting outside, so let's get it going. Now this game multiplayer I think would be a laugh. You know? And to be honest, the more I play it, the more I do like it. <laughs> okay. Um, and and it's, yeah, there's no bugs. Everything just seems to be working, which is excellent. Uh, serve them all. Don't miss more than two clients. Oh man, I do not feel like I'm going to get far in this. Now I have not done the, the sausage guy. That's great. I haven't done too many training. When you kind of kick off, they give you some training exercises. Uh, waffles. Okay, so I need a waffle chocolate sauce and a waffle. <laughs> okay, chocolate sauce. Let's bring it over here. Okay, I said ice cream or cream on top? Man, I'm going to say cream. Let's put you there. Um, gotcha, gotcha. We need a waffle. Chocolate sauce, waffle, cream. <laughs> Alright, pick up my cherry. Hey, mate, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you very much. I need a uh, ice cream. <laughs> so tight. Alright, chocolate ice cream. Are you coming up? Oh, man. <laughs> you gotta hit the trigger finger to a. Oh, no, 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 no. Put that there. That's great. Just drop it down. <laughs> Oh, pick it back up by the looks of it. That, um, uh, caramel sauce? <laughs> caramel sauce. Cream, cream. What a funny game I'm playing right now. Cooking food for people. Hell, it's hey, so pancakes, eh? All right, let's do you. Right. One. Two. Three. What's this? Strawberries. I need to get some strawberries going. Let's go. Um, okay, that's done. Put that there. That's done. Pancake. Pancake. Caramel sauce. <laughs> yeah, it's a busy night in the diner. Boom. Oh, I hope you can hear me over all the music going on in the background. All right, man, we're looking smart. Thank you very much. I need a couple waffles. Woo. Waffle, waffle. Oh, man, I'm not going to get that at all. Let's just focus on this guy. Waffle, caramel sauce, strawberries, and cream. I am never coming back here. <laughs> waffles, caramel sauce. Strawberries, cream. I'm tired of waiting. Oh man! <laughs> I tried. Oh, congratulations! You stayed open for two minutes forty-eight. <laughs> oh, I mean this thing. I thought about it. They got the the explosions. They they got all these the uh, confettis falling down around me. You know, it, it's. It just needs a little bit more refinement. Like when you look out the window, it just things just need a little bit more refinement. Menu. The music's good, everything, you know. <laughs> oh. Anyway, that was the three restaurants. Um, we've looked through. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, try, I'll meet you on the outside for a kind of a quick final chat. I'll see you there. There we go. That was Sepp's Diner on the Quest App Lab store. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you want to get it? Do you have it? Do you like cooking sims? Do you have other cooking sim games? Put some questions below. Let the community know. Let me know. Uh, and if the developers happen to walk past, maybe you can let them know. Maybe they'll get back to you. I don't know. Anyway, overall, this was a solid game. There was nothing bad about this game, except 
you know, it's not, not even an accept. It's nothing bad about this game. It's just that things could just be a little bit better, a bit more refined. So starting off with the menu system, I like the fact that they have got all the different ways in which you can interact with your VR environment. Sitting, standing, free locomotion, snap turning, you know, turning the snap turning off. Um, it's all there for you to do that. And more games, I have to say, more games need those different options available, okay? Because you don't want the game to be dictating how people interact with its environment. And I think Seps has done a great job allowing you to kind of do what you want in that particular environment. Whether you're someone out of no fault of your own, you have to stay seated down. Or you just want to chill on your sofa. Um, or you're someone who likes to stand. I like to stand a lot when I do play VR. Okay, so congratulations. Would be cool to kind of get some uh, a bit more settings with music and voice and things like that. As a content creator, you know, it's like, oh man, is this music and the voice of this particular game going to overpower my recording? Okay, and at the same time, sometimes I just want to adjust it as a personal player as well. So that would be pretty cool. And so far as the VR mechanics, they'll work. It's like playing big Lego blocks, you know, they get the job done, it's not buggy. Uh, you want to pick something up, you want to move something, you want to do something, it's there, it works really well. Okay, however, it just lacks those finesse, lacks the finesse, uh, something like uh, Cookout has. And it would be cool for them to kind of just start to refine it. So you've got to be a bit more precise with your movements in the game to kind of get them done. Um, but what they've done so far is really good, okay. Um, they've thought about what do they need to kind of get the strong base layer, and they've done that. So congratulations there on the VR mechanics. And so far as the graphics, it's the same type of concept. You know, what they've done so far is pretty good, but they could definitely be a bit more finesse, a bit more art design, a bit more of the old Seps Diner style thrown into it. Okay, at the moment, it, I feel like it's a little bit too childish for me personally, and I know Cookout is quite a cartoony game. However, it's just, just more refinement in the in the graphics, in the interface, and everything that kind of goes on. I feel like Sepp Steiner's, once again, they got the nuts and bolts down, they're just lacking that finesse when it comes to the graphics. But overall, it's a solid performance. Insofar as the gameplay itself, they're giving, for a cooking sim, they're giving quite a, a wide breadth of what you can do. Okay, you've got your three different restaurants inside of each restaurant, you kind of got your, your timed, you got your relaxed, and then you kind of got your intense mode where you kind of, you know, your timed two players in the game, to the AI players in the game with all the bank and paying back debt. You know, you got to get the debt paid back before you're out, or you got to make sure you serve everyone, and if you miss two people, you're out. So I like the fact that you've got the three restaurants and the three different kind of modes, and then you've got multiplayer that plugs into that. And when you kind of just look at that in that aspect, that beats Cookout, and Cookout has to be the most popular the quest cooking game to date. Okay, so in that essence, they're doing a fantastic job. Okay, it's just some of those other little things that I feel like they need to brush up on to kind of make it more wow, make it more special, like you're going into a magical cooking world. Okay, which Cookout does really well. Okay, overall this is a solid game and I think if you're a big cooking sim fan, you're gonna love it. I think it's slightly more suited to the younger generation at the moment, just to the more rudimentary graphics and VR mechanics. Okay, um, nevertheless, you know, they've got a really strong base to work off. So if you're a big cooking fan, sim cooking fan, definitely get it. If you have to pick one between the other, if you want larger breath in your game, go for seps. If you kind of want a more refined, more, you know, more depth to, to uh, the game, as opposed to breath, I'll go for cookout, personally. Okay, I, I do not regret having seps diner uh, in uh, my collection at all, and I, I haven't done it yet, but I am looking forward to using it for multiplayer. Anyway, I'm Tech Happy VR. A big shout out to Seb Steiner. You've got a great game out there. I look forward to seeing what it's going to be in the future. And don't forget to all you uh, people out there in the VR community, comment, subscribe, subscribe, comment for your chance to win Squingle, which I'll be announcing uh, early next month. So keep an eye out for that video. And in my description below is a link to some groovy Tech Happy merch. Whew, that's a lot. <laughs> anyway, I'm Tech Happy. I'll see you next time.